My pee was quite often yellowish. Everyone lose weight on 1200 calories. Yeah. I'm in the middle of the night. <sighs> so Christmas just ended. I didn't go home for Christmas. I did nothing for Christmas. Okay, I did a little bit for Christmas. I FaceTimed my family. My best friend and her fiance invited me to dinner. And so, you know what? I just indulged in a lot of chocolate and drinks a lot. <laughs> nothing says New Year's, new me, like drinking water. That is on all of our resolutions. Every year, we all do it. And there's constant videos of this miraculous thing that happens to our skin, our digestion, everything. And my digestion is way off. I'm feeling puffy, I'm feeling bloated, I am breaking out. I'm going to do the infamous YouTube challenge of drinking a gallon and see what happens to my body because I'm feeling Poofy, poofy. So I don't wanna start the year on a weight loss. I don't wanna go on any crazy diet. I wanna keep my healthy, usual diet and just drink a bunch of this water and see what happens. I'm gonna show you the start of where my body's at and my skin. And there's nothing wrong with where my body's at right now. I love it, I'm content. I'm putting it on the internet. Um, It's just, I know it's puffy. My puffiness, it's swollen for me feels tight. When your skin feels tight, we all know that feeling. So just thought I'd beat the trolls to the punch. Oh, and I thought I'd throw this disclaimer to everyone watching all these transformation videos. Friendly reminder, I'm just gonna show you something. Before picture. After. Oh, no. I do my best not to fall into that, but, and when I do, I, I admit to it. But just remember, huh? <laughs> I own two water bottles, this blue one and this gold one. 24 ounces, 19 ounces. I did the math. I need three blue ones, three gold ones. That will be 129 ounces. A gallon has 128 ounces. Math. Math. Three of each a day. Tracking it on this fancy thing. Let's do this. I got way too distracted filming and I'm way too behind. <laughs> All those beer chugging contests and college paid off. <laughs> Day one, done. I sewered myself. If you've seen my 66 day weightlifting video, uh, it's the day I edited it. I've done nothing but edit that for like 16 hours straight. And I have I forgotten to drink water? Yes. It is now 10 p.m. Um, I have two liters of water. I'm gonna do it, but I'm gonna have to get up to pee so many times in the middle of the night. <sighs> Okay, today's workout, I'm just doing a bunch of glute resistance band things and then yoga. My workouts for this entire seven day water challenge have stayed the same. My current program is continue with my handstand and stretching, which is part of a big journey, which I am gonna start documenting a lot more in like a bit more vlog style for you guys in 2021. And then I got a yoga series, something coming. And then something that involves Booty, something that involves Chloe Ting, some other goodies. But yeah, right now I'm at my daily mobility training, active movement throughout my day, trying to go on walks through my mind, working on strengthening my glutes and core, and work on strengthening things for handstands. Kind of a rough idea. But one time a month, I'm gonna do like a full week of eating and workouts. So let me know if you like that. Oh, my butt is burning, burning. Now here's gonna be the real test. I don't wanna change anything about my water. Normally I drink about once a week, once every two to three weeks. It is New Year's, I'm not not drinking after the year we had. So I'm gonna go meet up with my girlfriend Ash, who's my plus one. I live alone, I get my one. I will repeat that every time because otherwise I will get dragged in the comments. <laughs> but yes, Ashley, my best friend, going meet her, we're gonna have a beer. She's actually working, I'm sitting at a bar alone. I've had my four liters for the day. Any alcoholic beverage I have, I have to drink a glass of water for. 
science. But I think my favorite thing on earth to wear is like a really frilly skirt, a really comfy sweater, and thigh highs. I'm ringing in the new year, not in a fabulous New Year's dress like I, I did last year. Last year was the best dress ever, and I was in Moscow for New Year's. It was the best day of my life. But anyways, here's to a little, just appreciating the small things. So great news, 2020 is over. Oh yeah, here we come for our 20s. I see you and I'm not too hungover. What do we have to thank for that? Coffee, no, just kidding. We interrupt this program to bring you a special report. It's research, Kelty. I am just overly exhausted from the amount of research paper Kelty has assigned me to read and I have no mental capacity left to decide what to eat for dinner. Mm -hmm. I got the munchies. Where is the pizza? The pizza. Oof. Research Kelty, do not sweat. It is I, Chef HelloFresh, here to save your day. <gasps> My selection of tasty extras is getting bigger and better every week. Featuring quick breakfast and lunches, savory sides, and drool with the desserts. But you know those moments when you just had too much sauce? New Marie's isn't coming fast enough! I, HelloFresh, take the stress out of meal planning and prepping for you so you can enjoy a beautiful cooked dinner at the table in 30 minutes or less. I even have quick and easy 20 minute options. What about all the food packaging that's polluting the earth? An ocean! Oof we oui. Me HelloFresh has pre-portioned ingredients that means less prep for you and less packaging for the environment. My favorite part has been, you know how restaurant food just tastes better? You know they have those extra little fresh zests of ginger? Mm -hmm. The food tastes like that. It just has all the extra oomph of a restaurant, but like the satisfaction that I made it and I can Snapchat all my friends and be like, Look at this aesthetic dish I made. How can you cook something like that? Well, I know somebody. Question, uh, Research Kelty, uh, I'm constantly testing out new diets and researching about them. Uh, how's your flexibility on mixing up your diet? Oof, do not sweat. No worries, you can change your meal preferences week by week and skip a week whenever you feel the need. Okay, I'm in the name of HelloFresh. But like, are you even a good person? Actually, uh, at HelloFresh, we have donated 2.5 million meals to charities in 2019. And stepping up our food donations amidst the coronavirus crisis. Uh, everyone hates the show off. <sighs> I think I'm in love. Save the turtles! So go to HelloFresh.com and use my code 10 Kelty to get 10 free meals and free shipping, 10. Yes, hellofresh.com and use code 10 Kelty and enjoy some yummy, yummy, yummy food. Thank you, HelloFresh, for sponsoring this video. And I didn't make this like I'm only drinking water. I'm still drinking coffee. <laughs> this is like, just like four gallons on top of everything else I do. <laughs> because if there's anything that makes me give up coffee, that is the full challenge in itself. It cannot just be like, a part of a challenge like that, that would be the challenge. I don't need that negativity in my life after the year we just had. Myself, I, I went to the gym, forgot my water bottle. Let's go. It's 2021. It's just nice. I was just at the store and the cashier was like, have a great year. I was like, we're here. We escaped it. And they're like, I know there's just a mutual like, oh guys, I know it's just a number and things haven't changed, but like, bye bye 2020. I won't miss you at all. Never come back. My skin is definitely looking way better. Especially considering I didn't sleep last night. So I'm very, yeah, she's happy. She's smooth. Mm. Mm. Okay, water, I see you. You know what really gets my juices just going? New, healthy bowl places. I'm talking vegan options. If there's meat and dairy, it's sustainably sourced. 
If there's dairy, it comes from a happy cow. The chicken had a great life. The vegetables are local and sustainable. We got a sun-dried orzo mix here. We got some kale, we got some lettuce drizzled in olive oil pesto. We got the sustainable chicken. We got some roasted cauliflower. We got carbs, we got fats, we got protein. Delicious, thriving. Let's just try a bite. I'm just realizing now, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Monday. <laughs> I put two Tuesdays, so Monday is Sunday, and Tuesday is Monday. This was written in 2020. Do I have a filter on? No, it's water. Wow, it's so true. We're all just really chronically dehydrated. 90% of our problems. I just remember Gymshark sent me this. <laughs> Let's do it. Oh, this is so symbolic. Oh, <laughs> So, typical Kelty fashion, I live alone. I don't have anyone to hold this for me. I need to think of somewhere to hang this. There's a hook on the ceiling, but it's right next to the, oh I'm 100% gonna hit that if I hook it on there. Damn it, why can't I? Why is this always so complicated? Well, I think I've got it. Holy Jesus. I took a coat hanger and attached it to here. What is that? And it just, it's not a conventional pinata system, but I think if I go running the <laughs> street line. If you don't know what's in here, none of this is relevant, but it is very on brand. So I've got one shot. Cue intense music. Oh no. I can totally see a little. Okay. Okay, but I'm not gonna cheat. Three, two, one, yeah! Gymshark's having a bit of a moral crisis because he doesn't really know what his voice would be. Uh, so be gentle with him. It might change for the next few weeks. <laughs> if you feed Jim the shark enough caffeine and candy, it produces a new Gymshark outfit. That's just gonna be my new thing. I don't know why, I came for it. Yeah, meet Gymshark. Hope you guys like him. He lives on only sugar and caffeine and gives me uh, cute new outfits and apparently destroys my apartment. So, link down below for cute outfits like this. Ooh. The final countdown. Oh, splash me in the face. Day six, we're going strong. I haven't wet the bed yet. That's a success. My skin is living her best life. Look at this. All I have on is sunscreen, like sunscreen and tinted moisturizer. Guys, water. Who would have thought? Everyone. Everyone knows us. We just don't do it because you pee a lot. Boom. Boom. Bah. Done. Okay. It's the, like, it would have been like day eight. I woke up to the most bloated I've been so I'm wondering, I've never really tracked how much water I drink in a day. I just know I drink a lot normally. And it kind of fell off when holidays happen. That's very usual. But I almost wonder if I'm not drinking enough for me. So if like four liters, actually, I normally drink more in a day. So I'll show you my progress pictures. I'm up a pound and then I'm going to just 
for the next two days, drink how I normally would, make sure my water, it, my pee is clear, and see what happens. Oh, that's good for you, baby. So it has been a couple days since the seven days ended, and this was not how I intended this video to go. Why do things never work out for me? <laughs> I did this because during the holidays, we're not worrying about our water, we're not worrying about our digestion as much, and even though holidays weren't typical, I was still enjoying time with Ash, I was drinking a bit more, all this, so I'm like, you know what, four liters a day of water, let's just start heart hydrating ourselves, let's get back into it. My skin went a bit better, and I was just kind of like, oh yeah, I'm peeing, ha, ah, inconvenient and stuff, but I don't know, like I wasn't even really checking in with myself. I was just like, hey, drink the four waters and then I'll feel better at the end of the week. And then, yeah, by day six, I realized my pee was quite often yellowish, which it is normally clear. And things were starting to move a bit more, but I still wasn't fully regular. The last few days, I just started listening to my body and not being like so overly stressed about like drinking this four liters. And I actually, ironically, ended up drinking more. And my weight's down a little bit more and I feel less bloated. So this is just a reminder for me and hopefully for everyone else that just, there's all these like weird numbers in the fitness world that we all abide by and don't work for everyone. Like the 1200 calorie thing that like, you can never eat below 1200 calories because if you do, you're starving, but everyone lose weights on 1200 calories, which both are kind of false and I'm not gonna dive into that, but like most people that is way too low. And like some people might not lose weight on 1200 calories some might lose too much like it's so very and also like the four liters of water obviously a hundred pound female versus a 240 pound male are gonna need different amount of water <laughs> and like for myself like I started to realize like I probably drink closer to five and so by being so strict about this four liters I started stressing out and not listening to my body when it was actually thirsty and so I was drinking water at times in the day when I wasn't thirsty just to get it all in me. And then when I was thirsty, I was like, oh, I don't have my water bottle to perfectly track if I drink four liters, so I didn't drink water. Like when I brought my water bottle to the gym, I didn't drink water because I couldn't count how much water I was drinking. So like, just we put these weird rules in the fitness world. And so just a reminder to yourselves, because I also just fell victim to this. Uh, there's all these weird eight hours of sleep and four liters of water and 1200 calories and 30 minutes of exercise and all these. Some are good like baselines, like, you know, we're still, should be conscious, but not so much that you don't listen to your own body. Yeah, a reminder for me that apparently the four liter challenge was not a challenge. It just dehydrated me because I work out a lot. So that does make sense. It was nice it was a kickstart because I wasn't drinking as much water as I should in December. But you might only need two liters and that's okay. If you have a desk job, you don't move that much. You might only need two to three. The four liters is just a waste of your time. If you're a high level athlete and twice my size, you might need a lot more. You gotta figure out what works for you. Make sure your pee is clear and don't drink so much water. You have a weird electrolyte balance. Be good to yourself, listen to your body should be the theme of 2020 and <gasps> And it's not 2020. Oh, what a good feeling. Oh, I'm just gonna end there because the best feeling is petting dogs. Have a great day, pet dog. Love you guys. Bye.